welcome back to my channel. I filmed a Bella, come here. I filmed an intro yesterday um, for what this video is, which is a leg workout, but the amateur in me deleted that. So I wanted to actually, since today is when I take my check-in pictures for my coach, I wanted to give kind of a physique update because now this will be, I believe, a month into prep already, which is really hard to wrap my head around because I don't feel that much different. Like I do feel tighter overall and I have lost um, a few pounds, but I don't know, I'm just kind of going through the motions. I do feel a little bit tired, which is weird because calories are still good. I, I think just my energy expenditure plus, you know, I'm not used to eating this amount kind of was put me in a little bit of a an energy shock um, and I am starting to feel a little bit hungry nothing crazy but like I'm definitely ready for my next meal like I can feel the hunger really kicking in by the time it's time for me to eat so that's kind of my update um, I am throwing in my physique update and my check-ins from today and uh, the next clips that you'll be seeing is from my lower power or you know leg day um, where I really focus on uh, heavy weight so not all of the clips you'll see are the heaviest that I used but you'll get the idea and the sets and reps are on the screen so I hope that you guys enjoy the workout enjoy the workout
split squat. Um, it's super important that you get a good setup for you because otherwise you can be targeting muscles that you don't want to be targeting, like your quads. Um, so there's like two different setups that I switch between depending on what's going on at the gym, if it's taken or whatever. But um, the one that I'm about to do now, it's probably less likely that you have it at your gym because it's like a random wall and a random pole that fits like perp perfectly for me. Um, the other setup that I use is the Smith machine, which obviously is a much more common um, setup. So I set a box up against the wall here and then this is like my wall um, that I use for support and I put uh, two 10 pound plates so that I can rest my foot on it and put all the pressure on my heel. Um, you can pretend this is the Smith machine. I usually raise the bar up so that it's like shoulder, shoulder height um, so that I can grab onto it. But the same thing applies, you put the 10 pound plates and the box like against the wall or you know the distance away from the Smith machine. So this is my setup. strength and like my erectors and my like back 
this it's just like I feel like it totally isolates so uh, I got four sets of this If you can hear me, but I'm doing the hip abduction. I'm supposed to do uh, leg extensions, but let's get real. My quads are fine. I don't need to be training my quads, I need to be training my glutes. So I always switch out my quad exercise for a glute exercise because, come on, come on, I haven't trained my quads in like two years. So, and the rest of my lower body still needs to catch up to my quads. So, I'm gonna show you this uh, hip abduction variation and hopefully your gym has it so that you can try it. sitting up 20 to 25 lying back and uh, then it's cardio and posing so I'll see you uh, when the workouts done before I start my cardio much much later I went to the mall the Apple store and then Best Buy and then came home and then ate and then showered and then no I cleaned the whole house scrubbed the floors and then showered but I wanted to come on here one to outro this video and two for a little story time, I went to the Apple store, okay? First of all, I started using, I have two credit cards. I have a cash back rewards card and I have a miles card, a Capital One Venture card. I've accrued $300 on my cash back rewards card. $300, just for regular expenses. Great. So I was like, okay, you know what? Treat yourself. I went to the Apple store, I'm like, I want an Apple Watch. It's $424 minus the $300 reward. So I'm like, 124 out of pocket. Charged it, walked out of the store, immediately regretted it. I felt so nauseous, I was like, you know what? What am I really using this watch for, you know? What am I using this watch for? tracking my steps and my heart rate and that's basically it like i'm not here to like i don't know i don't even know all the features of the apple watch anyway five minutes later i returned the apple watch i said it's my birthday i bought it for myself and uh my mom said she bought me one why did i lie i don't know it's not my birthday but I felt it was the only legitimate excuse to be walking back into the store five minutes later. 
Long story short, the Apple Watch is returned and I went to Best Buy where I made two purchases. First purchase is the Power Beats Pro. I don't know if you can see it or if it's in focus, but I got the black Power Beats Pro and I'm freaking pumped. They were on sale, $50 off. And I got the Fitbit Versa 2. It 24 seven heart rate tracking, apps and notifications, sleep score. It pretty much has everything that I want and a little more, way cheaper than the Apple Watch. So these two items, which I need, were $370 total minus the 300 in cash back rewards, making these only $70 total. So I feel super good about this purchase and I'm actually really, really, really excited to use it. Um, I had Beats before and I really enjoyed them, but they were with the wire. These are uh, completely wireless and the newest edition. Um, I also had a Fitbit in the past, like a little stupid, like light version one, um, which honestly worked fine and it's all I needed. I just wanted to make sure that I was getting enough movement in throughout the day because sometimes my job, I'm moving a lot. Sometimes I'm, you know, kicking back for 12 hours. So... That was a spiel, but pumped, okay? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little workout, a little, a little fitness gadgets. You know I love my gadgets. And um, next week I have a really uh, fun video planned, so stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.